Today we're going to look at the G2 Excalibur from New Dart. This is a gauge CO2 model with a few really unique features to the New Dart line. Number one, we have a removable butt plate, which you pull out, rotate 90 degrees, your RDD goes in the rear. That allows that RDD to sit in the rear when the trigger is squeezed, travels down the 39 inch barrel, which is unique to the G2 Excalibur. This one is topped with a 3x9 scope for accuracy downrange. Also, you'll find a gauged uh, CO2 pod over here, which is regulated via this power control knob. Turning this knob counterclockwise allows you to pressure up. Turning it clockwise allows you to pressure down. This also has a very unique safety feature. We call it a triple safe. You'll notice here we have a SS, S, and F. Super safe, safe, fire. In the super safe position, this standard toggle safety cannot be moved. By rotating the toggle a quarter turn forward, pushing the toggle to the driver's side, if you will, or the gauge side of the projector, and then rotating another quarter turn forward, provides you in the firing position. So this, this particular projector accommodates uh, ranges anywhere from five up to 70 plus yards. It also accommodates all of our volume sizes of RDDs from half cc to 10 cc volumes. Improving on the original vision of the Excalibur from uh, 2007, uh, the G2 finds us with a few uh, upgraded features. The most prominent and notable is going to be the 39 inch barrel. So what does that do for us? It reduces noise coming out of the barrel. It also improves accuracy tremendously. This adds 10 inches of rifle forged barrel onto this particular projector body, giving the G2 Excalibur unmatched accuracy. Let's go ahead and take a in-depth or closer look at the unique features of New Dart's G2 Excalibur. Let's start in the rear of the projector. The butt plate has a lever that you push in, you pull back and rotate 90 degrees. Your RDD is loaded into the top port. And then you simply reverse the process. Pull out, rotate 90 degrees. And if you notice, there's going to be a clicking sound you'll know that rear butt plate, butt plate is locked. So let's hear that again. Then it's locked in place, you know it's secure. Moving forward from the butt plate, we'll stop at the air gauge on the side. What this air gauge does and is unique to the G2 Excalibur is it regulates the amount of pressure that can be put into the projector or taken out. That process is done by the uh, power control knob or the gas knob located just rear of the forearm here. This is the bottom half of the uh, CO2 powerlet adapter, something that we've customized here in-house at New Dart. The top half is located forward of the trigger right underneath the gauge pod itself. So you'd screw this into your projector, drop your 12 gram cylinder, CO2 cylinder, into the lower portion, and then just start screwing that on. When the CO2 cylinder meets the top half of the powerlet adapter, you're gonna feel some resistance. This is where you have to adjust your grip. And you just turn until it pierces the top of the tank. Now you heard a little bit of CO2 there. You know that the piercing nipple in the top portion of the power to let adapter did its job. And now we have a secure seal. So let's talk about how we get pressure into our projector itself, which is going to read on the gauge. We're gonna turn our power control knob or our pressure knob, which sits just forward of that gauge, rear of the forearm. 
Turn it counterclockwise to pressure up. And clockwise to pressure down. One of the great advantages of this is we often find ourselves with animals in front of us and we're in a shooting position. These animals are not stationary. So to be able to tweak or adjust in a full context your pressure up and down while animals are directly in front of you is a really nice option. When you're finished using your Nudart G2 Excalibur and you're using a 12 gram power let, many times you'll just have a few shots uh, that have been taken with it and you'll need to remove that. So you just reverse the process but there's going to be air in there and we don't want to store this particular projector with that CO2 in it. So we're just going to slowly remove and let the rest of that air bleed off. Then the CO2 cartridge can be disposed of and for storage your dust cap can go back on and your power adapter can go back in your case. So as part of your new Dart G2 Excalibur uh, Packager kit, it's going to come with this 3.5 ounce refillable canister. This refillable canister, much like the PowerLit adapter, screws directly into your projector. The great thing about that is it is refillable. Let's touch on a few of the maintenance items with the G2 Excalibur. Most notably, you'll find that the uh, rear butt plate needs the most attention which is is very slight so on the rod the silver rod that you see that controls the butt plate you're going to want to take a few drops of uh, gun oil we, we recommend the the penguin oil um, as well as the orange o-rings there now within the butt plate itself and and this is a a unique feature to the uh, G2 Excalibur and our, our Gen 1 Excalibur is there's an Allen key located here. That Allen key is pulled out. The screws in the rear of the butt plate are removed and there's a false cavity that sits right here with some extra o-rings. So if you're out in the field and you tear or uh, blow up one of those orange o-rings you can replace those in the field. Um, a few drops of oil on those O-rings as well. Keeps everything working just right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the safety on the G2 Excalibur. So you'll notice there's a SS, S, and F that are marked on the side of the projector here. That's super safe, safe, and fire. In the super safe position, you cannot push the toggle safety forward. It needs to be rotated, a quarter turn to the safe position, pushed, and then rotated another quarter turn forward to the fire position. So let's go ahead and take a look at that again. So in the super safe position, again, this cannot be pushed forward. Now how does that benefit the user? Well, it provides an extra layer of safety if you're working off of a, an ATV, on horseback, in a truck, etc. Um, it doesn't allow that toggle to be pushed forward. So again, we rotate it quarter turn forward to the safety position. You push it through, just like a standard toggle safety, and then you rotate it in another quarter, quarter turn forward. The knurled safety is also marked with red, like a standard fire and safe safety. So it gives you a visual representation of your level of safety there. So again, that's the triple safety function on the G2 Excalibur.